Hello class. Here we are, a little bit of a lesson from the bunker. It's Dr. Pajamas. So, I'm obviously doing a, everything I can do to protect myself. But anyway, let's start and talk a little bit about mole conversions. We have a quiz coming up, and I just wanted to make a couple of videos to kind of remind you stuff that maybe you already knew. So, let's go ahead and start up here at the board. So with mole conversions, just to recall, anytime we want to convert something, it's have, have, want. We do our little zigzag routine. So we start out here. If I have moles of something in a problem, then I'm going to write moles. It's going to be in the question, whatever the number is, say 1.7 moles. And then we know that moles are going to be down here because you've got to be able to cancel those out. And then you can put grams here, or I could put molecules up there. It doesn't really matter. This is just the mole conversion stuff you guys have already been doing. It's always one mole of whatever it is. So whatever your compound is. And the number of grams here would be the molar mass, which you get from the periodic table. Or if you were going to molecules, it would be Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So you guys should kind of remember a lot of this stuff. The quiz that we have coming up is a take-home quiz. I just want to make sure and reinforce that all this stuff is known. And... Uh, these are the types of questions that are going to be on it, some mole conversions. And then in addition to that, you're going to need to be able to do some formulas, but you're also going to need to be able to do some stoichiometry. So remember in stoichiometry, it's always about the number that's in the question. So if you've got a question where it says 1.2 grams of substance A, and I want to find out how many grams of substance B is made. Then I'm going to have to take and do a balanced equation. Once I do the balanced equation, I should be able to lay it out. So how about we go ahead and make something up on the fly here. 1.2 grams of sodium chloride. And how much? iron chloride that makes, right? So what we're going to mix is we have sodium chloride plus iron 2 nitrate goes to iron chloride plus sodium nitrate. Now remember, just because I have two nitrates here doesn't mean that it's two over here. Instead, it's two like that. And if we're continuing to balance the equation, if I've got two sodiums, then it's going to be two like that. So, this is what we have. This is what we want. Okay? So, we're going to do 1.2 grams of sodium chloride. And I'm going to erase this for now and put it up here. Just because it's in the way. 1.2 grams of sodium chloride. Down here is going to be grams of sodium chloride. And here it's going to be one mole of sodium chloride. And then we look at our balanced equation. How many moles of sodium chloride? Because it's going to be moles of sodium chloride. Sorry for the writing down there. But how many? Two. Because this block here is going to be based on the balanced equation. And then what's it converting to? 
This is what we want. Iron chloride, how many moles of iron chloride? It's going to be one. And so this is going to be one mole of FeCl2. And now this is going to be grams of FeCl2. And I apologize for not writing that as well as I could, but hey, it's coronavirus time, right? We're going to do what we can. So this is basically how you're going to lay out the equation. Uh, again, I'm going to give those to you. And you're going to get a quiz that you're going to be able to work on on your own. Answer the questions. Um, do your best with it. If you've got questions, obviously, you know how to write emails to me. Do that at kevin.seely at jsrhs.net. Uh, the quiz will be due, uh, the expectations, you're going to work on it on Wednesday, and it'll be due on Friday. Uh, as soon as you finish it up, I should be able to go in and grade it and take a look. This may well, because of the situation, be the end of what we do specifically on stoichiometry, because we can't do titrations and things like that. So I really just want to see where you are and see whether or not there's other stuff that I have to do. And in the meantime... Be safe. I'm going to go back into my protective posture. And you guys have a wonderful day.